Hello everyone, and welcome to another Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Wacky Worlds expansion video. Next up we have Asia Maharaja Palace, where the objective is to get 1,000 guests into the park by the end of year 3. I don't know if I said Maharaja or Maharaja right. I, uh, before I started recording, I decided to Google that just to make sure I did it right. And all three of the sources I looked at said it differently. So, yeah, I don't, I have no idea how to say that correctly. So this is one of the challenging scenarios, although it doesn't look too terribly challenging. We have this palace we have to build around. This is, well, it's not the same architectural style as the one from Go With The Flow, the video we just published on Friday, but it's kind of cool that I get to work with a palace two, uh, two videos in a row. Now the park border borders the palace itself. So the only space I have to work is over here, this thin stretch, and then over here. So it's kind of an awkward setup. Although I'm curious, do I have building rights to build over the water? Let me double check. Oh, I can buy all this land. Look at that. So I can buy all this land. Wait a minute. I can buy the palace too? Oh, I can buy the palace. Yo, I didn't realize I could do that. Okay. Well, it looks like I can buy this palace <laughs> eventually if I make enough money. The uh, for Oh no, it's a paper entrance park. If this is a paper ride park, I'd say let's go for buying the palace. But this is a paper entrance park. I don't think we're going to be able to afford it. But we can try. No harm trying. That would be really cool if I could pull it off. Let's change this style real quick. No! That's not what I meant to do. No. There we go. Silly, silly crooked house. Okay. Let's get some music going. Let's find, uh, where is it? Oh, yes. The very mysterious and, uh, the very mysterious and magical oriental style. I wonder how guests will fare finding their way around, seeing as we have two dead ends. We do have a loop over here. I don't think it'll be too challenging. I think they'll be fine. Let's turn this around. And plop this down right there. Let's open this. Connect the path. Ta-da! Did I put this backwards? Is he facing the right way? Oh, okay. oh no. He's facing the right way. Okay. Perfect. No guests so far. Let's get some umbrellas going in case some walk in so we can uh, sell umbrellas. Make all the money possible from those by charging $20. And the reason I can get away with that is because guests are desperate when it rains in this game and they are willing to pay anything to get their hands on an umbrella. What is this? Uh, Sujiyongwa. I don't know if that's a food or a drink. Oh, it says right there, drinks. <laughs> okay. The chicken looks like the only kind of food I have. So let's plop that down right there. Up this price to $2. Since we have... Since we can't charge for rides, we have to charge as much as we can elsewhere because we're limited in how much we can charge at the gate by how much people come to the park with in their pocket. Like this guy, how much did he had? $40, I was afraid of that. So unless we're okay with maybe risking not reaching our objective, we really can't charge very much. $40 is the limit. Let's see, we need a bathroom. Let's put that right here. So we're going to charge for our bathrooms, because I can get away with it. And uh, we need drinks. Let's grab drinks that are in theme with everything. Boom. All right. Let's make those 170, 180, I don't know. Oh, let's make it 180, whatever. People will pay for it when they're desperate enough. Now, we don't have a lot of options as far as rides go. We have this funky, funky uh, miniature railroad with a really fancy looking train, which is cool, but... You know, let's actually build that right now. Assuming I don't uh, get the uh, the algorithm, all the uh, the pathfinding of the guests all mixed up. Yeah, I think the only intersection I could go through is I just messed it up. Um, how do I pull this off? Let's make it shuttle mode so it ferries the guests back and forth across this big bend here, and we'll have to cut across through here somehow, somewhere. Yeah, let's, uh, hmm. How am I going to pull this off? Because if, if the train tracks go here, it's going to take up all of this space and make it hard for anything else to go there. But I could move this. So let's close this. Move it over to the, uh... 
Well, I, I really want this space for rides. Not that we have a lot of rides anyway, but... Uh... If we could fill this space in with the train... Ah, whatever. We'll just, uh... We'll, we'll just play this by ear. I really want the train. So, we'll do this. I'm not sure why I hit the test button. It really didn't need it. <laughs> Open. There we go. And now let's delete the paths that we just placed there. There we go. Now if we move these stalls out of the way, maybe the bathroom stall, then we can have this avenue right here open for the train to go through. But I have to be careful when I do this. If I delete them and then put them back, unless it was patched, I actually recently updated the game. Uh, there's a recent update. If it, it was patched, we're, we'll be okay. But uh, what happens is if I have a straight section of track going through the path and then I delete it, the guests get confused and they think there's a train crossing there for like the rest of the duration of the game. So they get bunched up and stuck there. And this is the entrance, so we cannot have that happen or else I'll just have to restart this recording altogether. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's get station one over, you know, I think I need to expand the park more first. Yeah, let's expand the park first. And I really hope that guests don't try spawning here because that could throttle the number of guests we can actually spawn. What, are, what is this? No idea what that is. So let's extend this path out here. Whoops. Maybe have a big loop. Kind of like what's going on over here, but bigger. Then we have all these spaces adjacent to it uh, for uh, rides and such. Let's turn uh, vegetation off so I can see what's going on. That's another cool thing with OpenRCT2 that isn't part of the vanilla game, is you can toggle specifically uh, specifically, specifically what kinds of scenery you want to see through. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it's just all or none. Here you can differentiate between scenery and vegetation, which is really nice. So you still see this vegetation. It's especially nice if you want to build a building in the trees, but you want to actually see what you're doing. Whoops, that was a mistake. Let me uh, fix that. All right. Now let's uh, plop down an info kiosk right there because it seems like the perfect spot for one. Boop. Change the color of these umbrellas to blue to contrast with the red default color umbrellas we have for sale over here. Now let's expand the area over here real quick before I build that train. I like this whole garden area. I'm not going to touch it or mess it up, but I am going to branch out and go around it. Like this. Ta-da! Just like that. With these giant fantasy giant grass blades. I'll go ahead and delete those. Let's reach this all the way out here. Oops, I made a mistake. But mistakes are happy accidents, according to Bob Ross, so we're just going to leave it there. It looks more, uh, it looks more, um, what's the word? Asymmetrical? Asymmetry is attractive if done right. If done wrong, it just agitates your OCD to no end. But if, if done right, it looks deliberate, it looks organic, it looks nice. And I don't know if that's right or not. So we're just, uh, all of you people with OCD in the comments, let me know. Did I just, uh, ruin your day? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have a bit of OCD myself. Uh, let me see. Let's grab that train. What? Custom designs? That's weird. Let's get the station all the way at the very end here. We're going to put this on shuttle mode. Which means that the train may be driving backwards, which would be kind of weird. Yeah, it looks like the only train we have access to. What colors do we have? These two. Ah, third color. Nice. Not sure I like the third color. though. Oh, whatever. We'll use that. Let's, uh, uh, editor, come back. One, two, one, two, three, four, five-ish cars. I don't know. The capacity in this is probably going to be pretty low anyway. Or actually, because this is a shuttle, it's going to be pretty long and have a lot of, a lot of guests waiting to ride it as it goes back and forth between the two stations. So let's do that. Let's go shuttle mode. Hey, yo, come back. Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll just have it there just because I like the ambient train whistle sounds. So we'll have this stretch all the way down the side of the park, basically rendering this whole strip of land useless to us. I can't build any rides there now. Unless, unless I follow the border here. Let's uh, go right up to the edge. Now if we have any really small flat rides, I can put them there. So just be more wise with our use of space here. Oops. Yeah. Something like this. Now I'm gonna cross this one tile right here. So that's two tiles 
from the edge of this. So that lines up. Aha, right there. There we go. I think we lined it up. Now we just go straight. Uh oh, we're gonna mess the elephant up. Oh well. That's a uh, free money, is what that is. A uh, delete. There we go. No more elephant. It bites the dust. And I just realized I'm not going to be able to afford this drain. It's much too big and expensive. <laughs> uh, how much of a loan can I take out? At 10% interest. Jeez. Not good. Okay, well, we maxed the loan out at 10% interest, which is not good. But uh, we're having fun today, so it's going to be fine. And I just realized I want this. I want this. I still want this space here, so I'm going to do what I did over there. Instead of deleting these two tiles, I don't want to risk ruining those. So instead, I'm going to delete starting from here to see people can cross like normal. Maybe I should have tested in a separate uh, file to see if uh, see if this got patched or not, because now I'm going to be living in fear for the whole duration of this scenario that I'm going to screw the whole thing up. There we go, right up to the edge. Mess up all these trees. Now we have these three tiles of space to put smaller flat rides down. Maybe even some really compact roller coasters. And I don't have to worry about uh, getting bunched up. Uh, what the... Can I spend around this? No, not like that. Oh, good. I don't have to mess up my... Wait, wait, wait. Oh! <laughs> I... <laughs> the wrong spot. What am I doing? I was trying not to mess up this little flower bed. Okay. Much better. Now, let's do the same thing over here. Although, I already messed up a lot of my plants, so I messed them up for nothing. What a shame. Let's go around this uh, garden bed thing here. There we go. And follow along the edge like this. Down we go. And then we'll cross this path and put the, la the station over there. Oopsie daisy. Can we follow the edge of the park again? Like this. Or should I really follow the edge of the park? Because it's nice to actually see the track. At least some of the time. So maybe we can put the station in the middle of this. I don't know. We'll just... We'll... We'll... We'll do what looks good as opposed to what's practical. It's just, this thing is so absurdly long. Good grief. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't a good idea. But we're doing it anyway. Now, how long was the first station? This was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tiles long. So this one should be 8 tiles as well. So station platform. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nice. Now let's turn uh, vegetation off so I can see. Okay. Let's get the other one in place. Right there. Perfect. Now switch this to shuttle mode and fire it up. Let's switch this to red to contrast with the green ground. What's the capacity on this? Six passengers per carriage and we have six cars. I assume the engine and the coal box don't get any passengers. So that's 36 passengers per round. Yeah, I think we could get 36 guests into that queue line. Oh, I forgot. We need a exit. There we go. Let's set up the other station. Same deal. Red queue line. Hello, Mr. Lost Guest. Perfect. Let me make sure that actually connected. Yep. Okay, we're good. We are good. Now, this is going to test. I'm going to leave this open because I know if I close it, I'll forget about it because I always do that. Uh, you may have seen in one of my recent videos, I actually built a miniature rail and completely forgot to open it. I think it was the African Diamond Mine. Yeah, I built one and I forgot to open it. Uh, I opened it uh, after I finished the after I finished the recording. <clears throat> do we have staff? We do not. Despite not having any staff, we still got an award for having the most beautiful park in the country, which is great. Or the tidiest park. Or tidiest in the country. I don't know. Let's get some more stuff. We need to raise our soft guest cap so we can get more people through the gates and have them pay for that cheap, measly $40 so we can make a little bit of money and hopefully make our loan back, because if we don't make our loan back, we're in financial trouble. Although I do understand Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 a bit more than I understand Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, so paying off the loan shouldn't be too difficult. Single deck cabin, oh man. Well, that's fine. Let's open that. We don't need to test it. Well, I mean, it is going to test. We won't get stats back until it tests. You know, let's just test it. Send it. Now open. There we go. Now we have one, two, three rides so far. So $10 might actually be pushing it for the price. So I really need to be uh, blah, 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 build more stuff. Let's build a custom side friction coaster because these are beautiful. 
Let's build it right here. This seems like the perfect spot. Let's put the entrance or the station right over here, just slightly off the ground. And then these are single cars, right? Or are these double cars? Hold on. Oh, they're, yeah, they're double train, uh, three cars per train. Okay. Well, that's worrisome actually, because that means I have to be more careful on the crest of hills because there's more, the car in the back has momentum pushing the car in the front. And if it crests a hill too fast, it's more likely to fly off, which is not good. Not good at all. Here's what I love about this roller coaster is this rib, this rib support structure looks okay on the ground, unlike many other roller coaster types. So let's send this thing up. So far we only have those two trains, so I might make the station longer. Let's not make this too tall. This is meant to be a smaller kind of roller coaster, I think. Let's have a big drop right here. Go right past the station like this. Back up to 40. Another big drop from 40 to 35. I don't want to risk anything more than that. Let's see what it does. If the train disappears, that means it flew off. Okay, it just barely crests the hill. That's what I want to see. Now I'm doubtful. Is it going to reach 35 feet or is it going to stall? Let's see what it does. Oh, we're good. We're, uh, we're okay. Perfect. All right, then. Well, let's uh, have some hills here. Let me get the engines in place before I forget, just to make sure it actually fits. Okay. This should be done testing now. Let me see. Oh, it's still running. Goodness, where's... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Going backwards. <laughs> It'll be done in just a second. Let me just open it so I can close that because it's taken up my screen. All right. There we go. Uh, uh, that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's bring this back a little bit. I don't want to mess up my elephant. Never mind, it's messing up my supports. The roller coaster takes priority over the elephant. Sorry, elephant. But you are in the way. So we're dropping down in increments of five feet. I want to see if this is going to stall anywhere. Why did this stop? Keep going, sir. Keep on going. So this was 20, so let's go up to 15. Maybe a series of mini hops, mini airtime hops like this. And this is a, a very photogenic roller coaster. It might be time to bring this back, but I'm not done yet. Let's keep this running. Maybe pop out right here again, right in front of the, uh, the exit here. Let's get the queue line in place, just to be sure this will actually work. Uh, this is on the wrong side of where I typically work with it. Okay, let's go with green. Just for fun. Oops. Everything looks good so far. I don't see the train stalling anywhere. Going over these hills nice and easy. Now the question is, can I go up a little bit here? Or is it going to stall if I do this? Maybe I should leave it at 15 or at 20 so I can go over this. If I, if I can, please. 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 Nah, it's not going to work. Okay, bad idea. <laughs> let's just, let's recall this. Um, or maybe if I can go under the court, under the structure over there. Nah, it's fine. Let's, we'll put it back. Have these slower hills to pop over like this. And then a drop to five feet. Whoops. Can I make a tighter turn here? I cannot. Okay. Something's in the way. What is in the way? Let me see. Let me turn scenery off because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, hello. That's in the way. Looks like we have to go over this. There we go. Let's see how the train fares. It's going pretty fast over the 15-foot section, so it should be okay over going over the 20-foot sections. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be easy. Perfect. Let's actually bring this to the ground. 
back to 10 feet. Back to 5 feet. Finally, it should, at this point, have slowed down enough that we can get away with that. Now, I want more than two trains, so let's see how many I can squeeze out of this. That's three trains. Maybe one more. If I can add uh, maybe another tile. Is, what is it? Three? Ah, uh, this is a paper entry park, so maybe I really don't need that many trains. So let's come back. Delete that. We don't need it. Okay. And where did we leave off from? Here it is. See through vegetation, please. Well, I can't see a thing. Where are we? Oh, we're right there. <laughs> is this lined up perfectly? Whoa, it's lined up perfectly. Look at that. What a beautiful photogenic ride this is. It doesn't do the figure eight thing like a lot of historical ones do, but this is Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. We got limitations. I could do the diagonal p uh, track pieces like the wide turns and make hills with those, but I don't want to. Let's test this for real. Or first, change the lift hill speed. Five miles per hour. Test that. And what are the stats on this train? Holy. The ride time is almost three minutes. Ride length. Why is the ride length different going forwards and backwards? It's the same track. <laughs> All right, then. That doesn't make any sense. We have beef noodles, folks. So let's sell some beef noodles. Where are those? Beef noodles stall. Nice. Let's plop that down right here. Make the price two dollars. Yum, now I'm hungry. Let's uh, get a another bathroom over here. Do we have any other styles of bathrooms? No, it's just this one. Okay. ATM as well. Just because the people who only came to the park with $40 in their pocket need more cash for uh, just to even buy food in the parks just so they don't go home. Or maybe having them go home is a good thing because that reduces the number of guests filling up the soft guest cap so we could potentially get more people into the park. I don't know. Let's watch this train to make sure it doesn't pop off on any of these lower airtime hills like this one. Oh, no, that should be fine. Okay. That was a little bit quick, though. Uh, if this gets backed up, that could be fast enough for a crash. Like, this one's going 23 miles per hour. Uh, decent stats, but I think I'm going to do a quick little edit. So let's... No, don't open it. No! That means the edits will be more expensive, darn it! <clears throat> that was a mistake. Okay, let's take these pieces, break those. Let's put some brakes here, actually. Make this hill a little bit taller. I can't see a thing. Never mind, I can't do that. I guess we're going with five feet. We'll just hope and pray that we don't have any crashes. Let's put our brakes right here to 13. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm at zero feet. Whoops! Oh, I see what I did. Whoops. Okay, put the brakes here. 13 miles per hour. Now we're back into the station. Okay, let's test that again. And um, now that we have the railroad open, I think we could possibly charge a little bit more at the gate. So let's up this to $15. What are we researching? We just got the beef noodle stall. Uh, wrong button. No more scenery and theming available. We get a lot of other stuff. I don't think we need any more shops and stalls, so I'll turn that off. We need more of everything else. We don't need transport rides either, so gentle rides, roller coasters, thrill rides, maybe even water rides. We'll turn that off, because I don't need any water tricycles, thank you. We already have the log flume and the river rapids, which is pretty much all we need. I mean, the big splash boats would be cool, but it's not necessary. What we really need is more thrill rides. So, with what little money we have, let's fill in this spot right here with a maze. With an amazing maze, and we'll mess up these fountains. Why not? Okay. Put the, uh... Maybe the uh, entrance here and the exit here. So let's start uh, right here like this. Dead end. Okay. And another dead end. And we really need to not have too many of those, because if we have a lot of dead ends, the guests will never find their way out, because they suck at mazes. Now I have to be careful not to corner myself as I design this. And I already messed up. Um, okay. We'd have this be like a big roundabout. So that connects there. 
Yeah, this is going to be too hard, I think. <laughs> Oops. Or should I delete some parts of this and have scenery featured in the middle? What kind of scenery do we get? We have a fat Buddha. A golden Buddha. Let's put a golden Buddha in the middle. So let me turn this back on. Retract those. Put a golden Buddha right in the middle. Or maybe an elephant. Would that look better? Nah, the Buddha was better. Let's grab the Buddha. Or a samurai? Never mind, the samurai is enormous. Okay, we'll put the golden Buddha right there. And back to designing this maze, I just realized why I just cornered myself. No! What am I doing? This is all just a big dead end. Uh, let's actually attract all this stuff. Um, huh. Or maybe what we can do is connect this. There we go. So there's more than one way to get through this. We want the maze to be easy, so a lot of people, so it can process a lot of guests at once. But not so easy, obviously, that they just walk right out. It's actually nice to keep them off the paths with a maze like this. Because it helps them, uh, it decongests the uh, crowdedness of the park itself. Which is beneficial. There we go, a nice dead end like that. So let's get the exit right here. Entrance right there. Change the style to stone. Uh, stone, or brick walls, I guess. Brick walls, max number of guests, 64. This is still testing, I forgot to open it. Okay, nice stats. And now with a roller coaster, let me just type this. With a roller coaster open, we could definitely crank up the price of the park. First of all, let's open the maze. Boop, maze open. Now with two new rides open, let's jump this up to 30. Just a few more rides, and I think we can max the price of the park out at 40. Look, look at these guys checking out the scenery. Great scenery! Yes, it's a very impressive uh, elephant statue. That would actually be really cool to see that in real life. And what is going on with these pixels? Why are they phasing out like crazy? It's got animated... Wait a minute, I never realized these were animated. Huh. Okay. The most beautiful park in the country, thank you kindly. Do I want to leave these at their default colors, or should I change this? I don't know. Let's take a look. We have this dark green color. That's this right here. So if I ever want to return to that. I do like the white. It stands out against the, gra the green grass. What if I make this red? That's too bright. Okay, I think I like the green better. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't want to ruin it. But we are going to change the style of the entrance to Pagoda. Pagoda, if I can say it right. Same with this one. Pagoda. What else do I have over here? The train. Pagoda. This. And the rides that we have over here. Pagoda. Whoops. And Pagoda entrance. Perfect. Now let's get some oriental music over here so we hear it everywhere we go. Summer style, that's pretty, but not what I want. Where is, uh, oriental style? There it is. Nice. Okay, what are we researching? Flying roller coaster? That's cool, but I can't afford it. So let me turn roller coasters off. So we'll unlock this one, and then we'll start working on thrill rides and gentle rides, because we are poor right now. My loan is completely maxed out, and, uh, and we're paying 10% interest on it. Good grief, $300 a month on interest. That is not good. And look at our income from entrance tickets. We're paying a fourth of what we earn. We paid a fourth of what we earned in May on our loan interest. Yikes. With what few dollars we have left, let's run an ad campaign for the for the side friction coaster. The, the big attraction. Oh look, we actually earned some money. Let's turn that back down. Sweet. Okay, July so far is our best year. It's only... Wait, really? It's only the 10th of July and we're already about to... Wow, 2000. Okay. Maybe it's because we just opened new rides and stuff. Can I get away with more? We have one, two, three, 
four, five, six rides. And one of those rides is a roller coaster. So maybe not. I don't know. Let's get some food stalls on the other side of the park. Maybe more beef noodles all the way out here. Flanking the info kiosk. Same price. Good to see. And then maybe the, uh, the Sujiangwa. Sujiangwa. That's hard to say. Let's put it right there. Nice. Okay. And a bathroom. For 30 cents for people with desperate bladders. Yes, sirree. I don't have a lot of super intense thrill rides, so I guess I don't need another one of those. Okay. So this park is shaping up nicely. Let's turn our loan down again. And we're in the red. I, I did it just before it went down. What are we researching again? I forgot. It was uh, not that tab. We are researching the flying roller coaster. Let's speed that up. Well, actually, no, I don't want to speed it up. I don't want to make the video super short. Um, what can we work on right now while we wait? Do, 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 do. We have more gentle rides. We have a circus. So let's plop a circus down over here. Mayhaps. Right alongside the... Well, maybe not right next to the train track. Um, somewhere with less... Uh, somewhere with less path... Or not, not what I'm saying. With less trees, so I lose less money messing the trees up. Boop! Ta-da! Let's open it. And, in classic fashion, it plays, it, make, it makes its music and its sounds even when it's testing. Unlike other rides, where if you select music and have them test, they still don't make any sound. Which is weird. Okay, we just got the flying roller coaster, which I cannot afford. There it is. So now whatever comes next will be either a gentle ride or a thrill ride. Let's actually force it to give us a thrill ride by turning gentle rides off. And maybe even, should I turn this up? I'm so deep in the hole that maybe I shouldn't. Let me see. Still two weeks remaining on that. Let's advertise the park as well. Just to get people through the gates. Come on, folks. Come on in and give me all of your money. I might be able to charge more now than I have a circus. Let's just put it at 40 and stop thinking about it. Ta-da! And maybe do some cheeky little cheats. Like a little, uh, something like this. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Man, the sound for the circus is funny. Just a little miniature maze right here just to fill in this space. One dead end, just so we can... Just so it has a little bit of challenge. I take it back. Two dead ends! Oh, heck yeah! And three dead ends. Wow, real premium. Premium uh, maze right there. Why is this facing the wrong way? Turn! Yo! There we go. And this will raise the soft guest cap even more. Let's turn this up to 64. 64. Maybe change the style to uh, wooden fences. There we go. That'll hopefully make ensure that I'm not charging too much and that we actually have people still generating and coming into the park. Turn the loan down some more. Okay. All oh, these poor flowers. Since we don't have any handymen to water them, they're just getting so dried out. I hope it rains again soon. Did this break down? Oh no. Where's the... No, 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 don't refurbish it. Oh, he's fixing it. Perfect. Okay, how are these guys holding up? Fixing us... Fixing a roller coaster? This guy's just walking, so we're okay. We're okay for now. I do see that we are in serious lacking... We're in serious need of some benches and trash cans. So let's place those throughout the park. Uh-oh, that's not supposed to be there. So play, people have places to rest and hopefully settle their stomachs so they don't vomit all over the path. We already have 480 guests almost. Are we even gonna... Yeah, it's only... We're only halfway through year one and we're more than... We're almost halfway to our objective. So this is gonna be really easy, I think. Even if we struggle a little bit financially... I just have to spam a bunch of flat rides and we'll be okay. A thousand guests is not hard to generate. So maybe my goal for this video should in fact be buying the palace. 
Or maybe before I make any promises, I should actually check how expensive it is. Let me let me see. How much does this land cost? Let's start with a corner, just so it's cheap. Oh, jeez, ninety dollars. Oh snap, that's gonna. <laughs> maybe not. Bad idea. Bad idea. So we need two and a quarter guests just to pay for one tile. And how many tiles is this? Uh, let me turn grid lines on. How do I do that? Uh, where is it? Oh, it's in here. Options. Grid lines. Uh, see through vegetation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18! 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's 44 going this way. 44. I know this is, looks longer than 44. I'm just going to say this is 50, just to make it easy. Let me grab my phone. Ugh. 44 times 50. 44. Uh, there we go. 44 times 50 times 90. We need $198,000 just to do that. I don't think that's going to happen. So maybe what we do is we just buy the land, buy the land up here so we can go around the palace and connect the path. I don't know. I don't know. I would really like to buy the palace though. It's so pretty. And all these empty spaces are just begging to have rides in them. And I'm not going to turn cheats on. I don't want to cheat. This isn't a cheat video. This is a playthrough video. I will play around with cheats maybe in future videos when I, when my objective isn't to win the proper way. But for this video, no cheating. Let me see. We can turn a loan down some more. Pay less interest. Yep. See, in July we pay less. And now we had $7,000 of income for July. Not bad. But we don't even have a lot of rides in the park. $40. Let me see. We just have one shy of 500 guests. These just expired, so let's restart this. Advertise the side friction coaster again. And one more for the park. Let's turn this up. Boop. There we go. Restart our ad campaigns. And boom. Turn that down. Okay, what are we researching? A thrill ride? Of course. The question is, what is it going to be? I don't want to wait. I said I don't want to fast forward, but I'm impatient today, so let's see what it is. We're getting on the 5th of September, so next month in just a few days. Launched Freefall! Yes! That is the perfect addition. That is gonna... Oh, that's gonna make this so easy. We can just build several of those and really crank up the soft guest cap and generate tons of guests that way. Because for flat rides, the launched freefall has a really high uh, soft guest cap contribution. It's a lot like a roller coaster in some ways. Bamboo brush. That's cool. I just derailed that train of thought so hard. Uh, yeah, we'll build some launched freefalls. In just four days, we'll have access to it. Come on, guests. Two more guests. Oh, there's people leaving. What the heck? I need two more guests to pay for this. Turn this loan down. Come on, people. People. There's one. One more. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I was looking at year one. I was right there as one. Four days. <laughs> no, it's going to be eight days. Or no, seven, nine days if you count for August is 31 days. Right. Or what did it say? The 5th or the 4th? Oh, it said the 5th. Okay, so... Well, it's the 27th now. So, 9 days. I think. Or 8 days. I can't do math. What the heck? Does this have full capacity? Look at that! Maximum capacity! That's what I like to see! And this this uh, queue line filling up! Queue, line, queue time 9 minutes. I've been queuing for ages. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give you some TVs to keep you busy. Even though they're kind of ugly. I wish I could change the color of the TVs. Let's put some TVs over here as well. Okay. Hopefully that'll reduce the complaints. Improve our park rating. Actually, I don't know if it affects our park rating. I missed one tile and my OCD won't let that slide. So let's put that there. There we go. Okay. Hopefully no more complaints from y'all train riders. It is uh, August 31st, so just a few more days and we get the uh, the launched freefall. In the meantime, let's raise our loan again so I can build another... It's not a roller coaster. Roller coaster-esque type ride. Oh, the ad campaign just finished. Oh, that timing sucks, man. 
We have to restart it and spend all the money I just took out. Okay. So let's have a log flume over here so we have big rides on both sides of the palace. Or maybe over here, actually. I don't want to mess the... Well, this is expensive. I don't want to mess up my trees, but... Ah, whatever. The trees will crank up my my stats. Is what they'll do. And that's good. Wow, 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 wow. That music is so comical. Let's go up over the tree line so we don't uh, spend so much. Have a small drop here. How close are we to that path? Okay, let's turn around. And then get a photo from the top. And then big drop. Woo! Down to the ground. Some room to slow down. Okay. That doesn't work. I do like the S-Band, though. Let's put another S-Band. And an S-Band. Now we're under the, 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 what do you call it? That area. Let's put another hill on it. Flatten this. Turn around. Another hill up to the height limit. Back down to 35. In preparation for another big drop. I don't think I have room for this. Yeah, I don't have room. Uh-oh. Okay, I didn't design, didn't think this through. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go this way. Here we go. And I think I just crashed into myself. Okay, come around like this. We are not quite lined up with the station. So if I go down and flatten, do I line up? Oh, that's not the station, that's scenery. <laughs> what am I looking at? I saw these red colors in those trees and thought it was the station. <laughs> oh, I'm silly. I'm so silly. Is this lined up? Yeah, it's lined up. Okay. Back down to ground level. And straight away. Actually, let's S-band just for funsies. Never mind, I don't have room. Straight away. And I still have some money left. Looks like these ad campaigns are really pulling their weight. Although I made less in August than I did in July, which is annoying. Now, I have unlocked the launched freefall, so as soon as I get this constructed, I'll go build some of those. All right. Make sure we have the maximum number of boats. Let's make them red, just to be different. Not that, not that shade. A darker... Ah, whatever, we'll make it that red. I don't want this to be this weird pea soup color. Make this, uh... Oh, purple's cool. Okay, let's fire this up. I have the maximum number of boats. Let's turn this wait time down to four seconds. And while that's testing, get our path situation sorted. Oh, I forgot to say earlier. Well, what I just did right here, this railroad crossing, that is not part of the vanilla game. That is something that was added in OpenRCT2. And it used to work just fine, but for whatever reason, in some of the recent updates, that's where that bug came in, where I had to... If I had it here, if I had a, a crossing, and then I delete it, then the guests get confused and think there is forevermore a train crossing there. Which is really annoying. Because it really breaks the, uh, breaks the whole game. All right. Very nice little queue line, although maybe I shouldn't have made it red. I don't know. It kind of stands out too much. Yeah, it stands out way too much. Let's also change the uh, support structure as well. Yeah, that seems more fitting. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Get my money back. There we go. <laughs> Let's turn the loan down some more. Those are still running, so I'll let that money rebuild while we uh, wait for results from this. September 20th, year one. 682 guests. More than halfway to the objective. So we're doing pretty good. We still have boats backed up out the back of this thing. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna double the objective or be able to afford buying the palace if I just sit here. So while that's testing, let's build a launched freefall right here. We'll make this a hundred and how tall are on this? Hundred and seventy feet tall. Okay. 
so poor I couldn't even afford that. Okay, let's change this to, I think, 60 or maybe 72. Well, let's try 67 first. 67 will not launch it off the end. Oh, 67 was perfect. I almost set it to 72. <laughs> Guests are complaining about the length of queues in my park. Well, sorry. It's because my train is so long. So there's nothing I can do except deleting the train. Oh, well. So we have that there. So that's launched free fall number one. Let's build some more of them. Maybe one on the other side of the park. If I can afford it. Maybe not right next to this because they're both tall. Right here on the corner. I'm out of money. Let's take that thousand back that I just paid back to the bank. We've almost paid off all the money we took out. We're almost back down to 10,000. Alrighty. Let's uh, turn this one up to 67 as well. Log flume is done testing. Let's go. And we have ride photos. So let's turn this up to 350 or maybe even 360. I think we can charge 360. We really need money in this scenario. All right. Launch free fall. Go ahead and test. Now that I've set the launch speed to 67 miles an hour. Let's open that. Change the color because it's blending with the ground. Maybe a more electrifying green to stand out, really stand out. Perfect. Okay. So now $40 at the gate is certainly fair. It might even be uh, unfair to us because we have enough rides that we should be able to charge more. But the objective is getting more people into the park and they don't have the sense to come to the park with more than $40 in the pocket. Like this guy. Okay, he had 50. Still not a lot, or I got sheeted, Ivy. But seriously, these people... Yeah, this person had $40. I just remembered I was placing down benches and garbage cans, and I completely forgot what I was doing. So let's <laughs> resume where we left off and finish populating this park with some benches and garbage cans to control the uh, vomit and litter problem. Not that we have much of a problem. The park is surprisingly clean, considering how many guests we have. Although maybe it's because we didn't have a lot of thrill rides. Although now that we have launched free falls, that may change. So let's, uh, on that thought, make sure we have enough benches right at the exit of this one. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. I think I want more variation in the color of these boats, so maybe I'll go back and color them. Maybe some are red, some are green, and maybe some, well, maybe not yellow ones, I don't know. Did I miss anywhere for these benches? Oh, here we go, litter and vomit. Not good. Okay, I think we're good for benches. If I can find where the path is, there it is. Let's put some garbage cans down. It's a shame that we only have one kind of garbage can. We might unlock a better kind later, but I turned off scenery, so we won't be able to, because I'm working on <laughs> unlocking rides. Speaking of which, what are we working on? Boats for, bo for the boat hire? No! I thought I turned water off. Hey, yo. I turned wa- Oh, it's because Thrill Rides is off, so it defaulted to turn everything back on. Okay, Gentle Rides! What the heck? Ha! <laughs> Dang it! I should have caught that. I guess we only get one one additional Thrill Ride, which is the launched freefall. That's a shame. That's going to make it hard. Okay, see through vegetation. So we can actually see what we're doing here. I see lots of litter out here. Good grief. Okay, some more garbage cans out here. This might be faster if I zoom out. So I don't have don't have to pan around so much. I don't think I have benches on this little strip here. Let's fix that. Okay, back to garbage cans. Maybe I should be more deliberate in how I design these paths and have, like, lights and fences and bushes and stuff. I'm always so, uh, when I play, I'm, al I'm always so practical. I don't really think about the aesthetics of the paths. Or I do think about it. I just don't really know how to make it better. I'm not very skilled in the scenery department. So maybe I should, uh work on improving that. Let's grab these lights. Or actually, no, we have these big ones. Tall lantern. 
So let's grab this basic one. Let's maybe have a spacing so it's more symmetrical. One, two, three, break this tree. One, two, three, place. One, two, three, place. Flank it on the other side. We're not going to have a lot of flat rides, so I think it's okay if we kind of use up this space like this. Yes, yeah, so now we have these lanterns. Oh, it's going to rain again. Oh, we have a Great Wall of China piece? What the? Oh, we could actually build our own Great Wall of China. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do that. That's expensive. I mean, look at these prices. I take it back. I expected it would be a lot more than $144. That's cheap. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Well, back to scenery. Um, mini elephants. Well, I'm, I have these on odd, odd spacing, so I can't do the large elephant. So instead, let's do some kind of shrubbery. Or no, first. Gates. Oh, a jungle fence. It's like all uh, overgrown. That's kind of cool. Well, that's not what we want. Do we have any kind of fences? Like, Oh, a Japanese fence. With a gate. So we can have some kind of garden out here. Now, is that a gate or a fence? I think it's a fence. It just says fence for all of them, so I don't even know. Let's put more over here. First of all, finish off this one. So this for me is practice. I'm practicing because I really don't do this kind of stuff much. I'm more focused on winning, so I'm always trying to max out the number of rides and the max throughput and money and stuff. But I never really slow down and just, you know, go sandbox mode with it. I'm always trying to max everything. I just said that twice. Uh, so maybe a change of pace would be good for us. Oh, ball lanterns. Maybe I should have done these. Or maybe I'll do them somewhere else. Let's grab flower beds. Maybe put these behind the fences. Now the trap you can fall into doing this is you make everything too symmetrical and make patterns with it instead of making it more deliberate. Let's delete those, delete these fences. Um, yeah. Now to what I could have in front of this. Maybe some smaller flowers. Which of these? I can change the color of one of these, but I can't remember which one it is. Ah, it's this one. Okay. Make these purple. That is not purple. Make them purple. There we go. Or does that blend too much? It does blend a lot with, lo uh, with those flowers, but we can always switch those out. Or maybe what I should do is have flowers in front and have shrubs behind them. But then you can't really see the fence. Yeah, I like that. That's so cute. Uh, wrong spot. What am I doing? Get rid of this tree. Okay, now let's look at the options for shrubs. Do we have anything in here that I can use? I don't think so. Okay. So back to the regular default shrubs. Shrub. Let's grab... Maybe alternate between these two because they're similar enough. Something like this. I grab the other one, fill in all the other spaces. Yeah, this is looking this is looking so nice. Look at this. Why don't I do this kind of stuff more often? I'm always trying to push the game to its limits. Well, I'm not even trying to push it to its limits. I'm just trying to win. I'm not much of a technical player. I forgot this spot. Okay, so now we have a decorated path area. Great. Uh, I think we need fountains here, too. I didn't even think of that. So maybe... Uh, we only have the elephant fountain, which isn't exactly in theme. Terracotta army? No. What else could I throw in here? Pagoda tower. I can put that back here. That is a little expensive, though. Goodness. Uh, what is this? The good samurai? Why? Did we get a bad one? Evil samurai. <laughs> we have a good samurai and an evil samurai. That's funny. 
Interesting. Maybe fill in the back area with bamboo so you can't really see past it. Yeah, look at this place. It's so pretty. Okay, grab the... Where'd the fountain go? I want the fountain. Grab the fountain and maybe not have it on the path, but... Well, I don't want to spray my pagoda. So maybe delete the bamboo we just placed. And maybe what I should do is break up the path in the middle here. See, now, now, now I'm onto something. Now I'm getting carried away. This is where things get interesting. So delete all these. We'll have a central focal point. So have the path go around like this. This is the kind of stuff that makes your guests get lost. <laughs> and now I grab a fountain like this and put it in the middle. Even though it's completely out of theme. Do I have something better? Where's, where's the little elephant? I've got the little elephant. Oh no, my bamboo. But he doesn't, this elephant doesn't fill the square very well. It looks like he's floating above the square. So take that back. This doesn't make any sense. Marble roof. Um, what do I use? No smaller statues. There's a clock. I mean, I guess that works. It doesn't have to be earth-shatteringly impressive or anything. Uh, let's grab the Japanese fences again and border the flowers so we don't see the dirt on the back. Never mind, that doesn't look right. Uh, what do I use? No, my flowers! I could just leave it exposed. It really doesn't matter that much. Because when you look at this, at the where your eyes are drawn to is the middle area, so you don't really don't notice the back of the flowers unless you're looking for it. So maybe I can get away with leaving it alone. I don't have access to my favorite fence piece that I always use, the one, the the lo the really low brick one with the steel spike with the uh, yeah the steel fence on top. I only have access to these generic ones, and they're too tall. I like the one the short brick fence with the metal on top because the uh, the bricks are low enough; it looks like it's covering the dirt, but then the fence reaches up and you know makes it a fence. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I have more money. I assume these ad campaigns have probably expired. Yeah, my income has gone way down. What am I doing? Let's get back on the horse and get back to the old way I play, which is soulless, uh, what's the word? Ruthless capitalism. Or no, ruthless efficiency. <laughs> anyway, but that's cool. I like that. Let's turn a loan down a little bit so we stop paying interest. And what are we researching? Okay, we got the boats for the boat hire. Let me get a look at what those are. That is not what I meant to do. Group rides by type. Oh, it's these. Well, that's useless. Um, we have all of these except for the monorail cycles, which are kind of useless, and the car ride. I guess we could build a car ride somewhere. Maybe fill in this space over here. Well, no. Let me... Better Probably better off filling the space over here. Let's grab this, place it right here, on the ground. Have some little hills. Maybe what I should do is build a kind of palace here and build it around the car track. But that'll take a lot of time and a lot of money. So maybe not. If I am going to buy the palace, I really can't afford to mess around too much. Now, this is going to be long enough to not have issues with the, not have issues with the uh, stat requirements. I'm not sure. Let's test it out and find out. Um, pickup trucks is all we get. Okay. Red pickup trucks. Blue, yellow. Let's do yellow. I like yellow. Yellow and black. Turn this minimum wait time off. Let her rip! And I don't like the color of the track, so let's make this something more pleasing to the eye. Maybe white? I don't know. I don't think this red actually affects anything. <laughs> red supports. That's cool. Okay. Now for scenery. What are the options here? I could try to build a palace around it, as I said, but that is a little spandy. What does this look like? Oh, okay. 
Now these palace doors are, aren't functional, so I can't use those, unfortunately. Let's border the lower portions with this. Unless... Do I, are there any corner pieces I can use? Well, maybe, the, maybe I should look at how this was done. Oh, they used the towers in the corners. Okay. So if I come to this... Aha. Rotate that. Rotate this one, same fashion. Get a silly tree out of the way. And these have to be full, thick blocks, I think. Okay, same deal over here. Get rid of the tree, which is in the way. One more across. I can't see what I'm doing. Get out of the way, you tree. Okay. And I think I placed these in the wrong place, because if I want to have the wall extend down the side, it has to go over here. Same with this one. This one has to be all the way over here. Just barely not encroaching on these flowers. Okay, and now we can grab this. See, they're full. They take up the full tile. Is there something I could use to break up this area? Let me see. What do they do over here? Never mind. Oh, I see. They use those. Okay. So if I grab these full blocks... There you go. Out of the way, you trees. Let me make sure this is symmetrical. So that was one, two, three. One, two, three. And we have three more. So let's go four. Four. Then blocks here. One, two, three, four in the middle. One, two, three. I don't even know. I'm not going to count. <laughs> Put those there like that. Perfect. Let's actually do the same thing here. Delete these. Replace them with, uh, well, let's place these first since I have them selected. Full blocks. Boom. And now I don't have a queue line. <laughs> oh well. I don't think it really needs much of a queue line. The throughput on this would be high enough that whoever wants to ride it, they just get in line and hop on. Okay, back to scenery. Where were we? Oh yeah. Grab these. What was this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Grab these full blocks. Same on all sides is what I want to see. One, two, three, four. I'm going to mess up these flowers, I think. Oh, no. Get rid of these silly trees. One, two, three, four. And I think this is done testing now. Let me see. Very nice. No stat penalties. We have a decent excitement rating for a gentle ride. Very good to see. Okay, let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Or maybe I should put the palace entrance over here on this side. Although... Yeah. Like that. And then extend this out like so. Cool. I'm liking this. This is sick. Now how did they... Oh, the whole thing was just a... Uh... Okay. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. So from here... Do I have any flat platforms to work with? Or do I just surround this? I don't even know. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Uh, not ready for that yet. Let's put this there. There. There and there. Look, guys, I'm doing scenery! And here I was saying I'm not good at it. Well, I'm, I'm not good at it. I'm just giving it a hand. Giving it a shot. See how well this goes. Are these what the top over here is made of? Let me see. Oh, it's the roofs. Okay. But hey, we can put roofs here. So let's grab this. We put some smaller towers like these there. Oh, that's so cool. I'm loving this. Let's space these out correctly. Yeah, something like that. And I forgot we need to we need to mess up our flowers with these. Let's turn it around. 
Just get rid of these little yellow flowers. Oh, it takes up the whole tile, darn it. Okay. I guess we have to get rid of all those flowers. And come back. There we go. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay, so this is a roof. This is a roof. What? How are these different, though? Let's keep these all consistent. I feel like these aren't supposed to be next to each other, though. It's a single roof for a single structure, not a tileable roof. But it's what the game gave me to work with, so we're going to use it. Swing around so I can see. Now the tops of these are exposed, but I guess it's fine. No! Come back! Now what I want to know is that I just ruin all this. Because over here, it's all just flat-topped. Oh, it's not meant to be the roof of the structure, it's like a walkway. Okay, so let's delete all those. Well, no, this is a roof. This will be a tiered structure. So this is, so this is a roof, I say. Now for level two. Except level two is too... Ah, oh, forget it. It's too, too complicated. Well, I really want to, though. Does the car ride need to have hills? It really doesn't, right? What happens if I get rid of the hills? There's, like, no one riding it. Okay. Now I'm invested. I want to see what I can get... I, I want to see what I can pull off with this. Because this is uh, new territory for me. Learning, learning new skills. I just realized I can't because I build over myself too much. <laughs> Whoops. I could just redesign the whole thing. So bring all this back. I mean, these are easy to make. So bring all this back. Straight. I think the uh, requirement for this is the length. So it's okay if it's a little on the long, if it doesn't have any hills. But I could be wrong, and if I am, we will find out. <laughs> but I'm not concerned about the stats, I'm concerned about, whoops, about getting the palace built over it. Well, look how symmetrical that is. That was gonna be too long. There we go, we used all the tiles. Now let's boot it up again. Holy smoke, we get even more trucks. Wait, 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 how many trucks do I get? Okay, that's all the trucks. Okay, fine enough. Fair enough. Back to scenery. Let's, uh, whoops. Come back. Grab this. Now it should be at the perfect elevation, I think. Is it? No, it's just one block too low. Okay. So this is where holding shift will be useful. Although I just realized. Uh, yeah, I think that's a problem. It's a problem because... Uh, or no, what I could do is build all these taller. Build the walls taller. But then I don't have anything to raise the corners up. Darn it! I didn't think this through. Oh well. Let's grab... Uh, I don't have anything to put in the corners except for the towers. And I really can't do another tower. I mean, I could, theoretically, but I don't want to. Oh, wait, no, I can. I can. Okay, we'll make that work. We'll make that work somehow. Raise it up just a tiny bit. Put this one here. Raise it up just a tad. Put this one here. Let me know in the comments, is this entertaining, watching me do this uh, nitty-gritty, tedious uh, scenery design, or is this what you've been wanting to see the whole time and I'm just finally doing it? Let me know in the comments, I'd really like to hear what you think about this. Because I've part of the reason I've avoided doing this is because to me it's tedious, so I imagine it's less entertaining to watch than watching me crank out roller coasters. But then, that's an assumption, I might be completely wrong. Maybe this is precisely... This, yeah, this might be exactly what you want to see, so let me know in the comments. And if it isn't what you want to see, I guess this is the last time you'll see a super detailed structure like this. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now we have one tile just completely exposed here. So let's grab this, just because it's less detailed than those. Never mind, that doesn't work. Uh, shoot. 
Well, it's because it has height to it. So maybe if I grab something flat and neutral. I don't want a bamboo plinth. I need a flat platform. Like, I guess this works. Similar color. Uh, I can't paint it. Let me grab this one, which I can paint. White. Wrong shade. Okay. I should have a shade similar to these, but lighter because of OpenRCT2. Like, aha. Uh, Here we go. Is that just the same color? Nope. It's lighter. Perfect. So now I can cover these corners up. Or I can just cover the whole thing up. Yeah, let's just make, let's just cover the whole thing. This is like a walkway now. It's a raised platform with more buildings built on it, so it's a tiered building, like a Mayan pal, like a Mayan uh, temple. Okay, this is cool. I need to do this more. What I should be doing is holding. Whoops, not shift. Control. Why? How do I do that? Hold control. How does that trick work where you use control and it keeps it at the same height? I don't get it, guys. Now I'm holding shift and control, and then I drag and keep control held, and it's at the exact ground level. No! Not underground. I mean, I guess it's simple enough I can just keep holding shift or pressing shift every time I move the mouse. Okay. Well, I guess buying the palaces out the window, that's not going to happen. I'm not playing optimized. I'm spending all my money on scenery. Each two of these is the equivalent of one guest. So it seems cheap until you think of it that way. Very expensive. It all, it all adds up. It all adds up. Now look at this. A canvas to work with. I'm out of money. I spent all my money. Good grief. And we are not earning very much. No new guests. Now we're in the red. Great. <laughs> Let's take a loan out just to finish this palace. Because I want to. It's going to be fun. Now for level two. Let's grab this again. Grab these blocks. Are these taller than those? Or are they the same level? What the heck? Oh no, it's level. It's just the uh, tile's not syncing up very well. Because, you know, roller coaster deck here. <laughs> those there those there aha nice okay let's break these two put blocks there instead oh this is what I want now I can hold it hold control interesting nope built you well, maybe I do want that there, though, because I'm going to build on top of these. So let's just uh, move these across like this. This is expensive. Look at my money burn. I'm just burning money, folks. All the money getting burned. Okay, let me grab these. Place that there. There, there, and there. That is not what I meant to do. Delete those. Here is what I meant to do. And then grab this and place them here. Yeah, this is so much faster if I do it correctly. Question is, or the problem is, I don't actually know what correct is. <laughs> Shift, place, control. See, now it's not working. How do I freaking make this work? Oh, well. And it looks like the, uh, the station's in the way, so I can't make this stick out. Oh, well. That's fine. Now let's look at this palace and see how they pulled that off. It looks like they used these and these wall pieces to make it taller. Okay. So I'm making my own palace and it's going to be better than this one. That's right. Mine's going to be better. It's going to be so fabulistically beautiful and I'm making up words. Let's put the entrance in the front here. Oh, this is going to be hard. I can't see which tile I'm using. I forgot to turn the grid lines off. Hold on. That's been on this whole time. That's annoying. Grid lines off. Okay, let's center this. Let's actually have the entrance stick out towards the front a little bit. 
that floating? Yeah, it's floating. Whoa, why, why did it move? What the heck? Yo, come back. Or is it floating? Oh no, it's supposed to be... Yeah, dang it. <laughs> okay. So there's supposed to be a little gap under it, apparently. Boop. And that one's in the wrong place. Why does this not line up correctly? I'm confused. Or maybe I'm putting on the wrong tile. Or maybe this one's in the wrong place. So let's try this again. Aha! So the first one is wrong. There we go. Perfect. So now we have our entrance. Now I gotta get real, real friendly, real familiar with the, uh, with the, um, what do you call it? The control button. To somehow make this work. Aha! Never mind. I have no idea how that's gonna work. Lock flume one still hasn't been fixed. We need more mechanics, it looks like. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. So cool. Now, is this all on the same level? Let me see. If I grab a roof piece to go on top of this. Oh, good. Because this bar across the top of the doors had me worried. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is going to be so cool when it's done. Let me see. Grab this. I like the more detailed wall. Control. Uh, this is hard. Let me move. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know, I think this does need to be wider overall, so let's actually... I guess we can leave those. They'll just be hiding inside. And I'm skipping spaces because I want to put windows on those spaces. Why is this not letting me do this? Hey, yo, what's in the way? Oh, they're floating. <laughs> they're floating in the air. That's why. <laughs> Control let me down. Control, let me down. Okay, well, get rid of those because we don't want them. This is where we want it. Now if I hold control, it should be in the right place. Still not letting me. Is it in the wrong place again? Yeah, they're way up in the air. Okay, so control doesn't work, apparently. At least not for me. I don't know how to make it work. I'm sure, well, I'm sure it does work. I'm just failing to use it. Let's get this. Er, uh, come back. Uh, there we go. Right there. Grr. Just to give you an idea, uh, give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to put windows on these spots in between. And on this corner here. And on this opposite corner. Not there. Where is it? Almost. Almost. Aha. Right there. Maybe what I should be doing is instead of moving, I should keep it, keep the area selected and grab the other things like this. Grab this again. No, come back. Put that there. Nice. Grab this one. Yo. Yo. No, 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 no. This is hard. Should I be into, uh, including these other pieces as well, or is that a different style? No, these are all the same, I think. Oh, I know, these are the upper levels. Okay, interesting. Here I am cheating by using that as inspiration. <laughs> anyway, let's grab, where was I? Grab these. No, no, come back, work with me. Oh, that works. That's where I wanted that. Making progress accidentally. That's what that is. Maybe if I get a different angle, this will be easier. 
Uh, wrong side. No! No! Still wrong side. Or maybe this one is on the wrong side, so let's just put this up and put this one under it. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Perfect. You know it! Let's try it right here. Perfect. Now there's a gap there. That's annoying. But there's limitations in Rolex Coaster Tycoon 2, so whatever. Uh, right there. Yep. The next up a window. Did I delete this? Whoops. Hold on. There needs to be a block there. There we go. Window piece. Almost. Almost. No. Aha. Got it. Now grab the detail piece again. Uh, wrong spot. Right there. I forgot I was supposed to be putting stuff on top of these before I move away while I have the right spot selected. Darn it. There we go, like that. Because where I have to guess, when I put my mouse down here, I have to guess where the tile is. Because I can't use see-through scenery, because if I use see-through scenery, then I can't even see what I'm doing. And these are misaligned. Dang it. Okay. Uh, let's try again. This one. Almost. 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 Yes. Aha. No gap. That means it's aligned correctly. Let's just place this one. Right there. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Two walls done. Two more to go. Good grief. This is hard. Could I maybe possibly use control to make this work somehow? Please, game, work with me. So control, I place that. Control is not working. Now it's floating. It's floating down here. That's the wrong elevation, buster. I just realized I didn't actually fill in all these pieces. Whoops. Put those there. I did not mean to place that. <laughs> okay, everything else is correct. Okay, good. Where's all this money coming from? We have a meager income, I guess. Let's restart our ad campaigns just so we have more income coming in. Let's advertise the uh, log flume, which is open now. Just so we have a steady stream of income so I can actually make progress on our objective while I build this. Yeah, we almost, we, we had 950 guests almost halfway through year two, so we're getting there. So maybe for this video, instead of really smashing the objective so hard, this this uh, video will be more of uh, more of the creative side of things, and then I guess let me know in the comments which style you prefer. Okay, got that one. Top it off with this. This one again. Maybe just a basic because this is a middle spot, middle area. No, come back. No, there we go. Uh, this one's not aligned. Let's try this again. Nope. Er, er, come work with me. There we go. Still not aligned. Ah, no. How do I make this work? I might just have to roll with it because I don't want to be here all day doing this one project. Oh, never mind. There it goes. Perfect. And what I'm talking about aligned is how you see you can place this here, but you can also place it from the other tile. So if I have if I have this wall here from this orientation and another wall here in this orientation, you can see it's just not quite lined up. And it's okay, but I'm kind of a perfectionist and I don't like it, so I, I delete it if I do that. I have to redo it. Although if this project gets too tedious, then I might just, you know, screw it. Just roll with whatever we get. I think that's lined up, but I'm not not certain. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, and the window is on the end, on the corners. Here we go. And I forgot again, I wanted to select this. Now I have to do it manually. Oh, that was easy. 
right there. Wrong spot. Come back. No! Come back! Let's try a different angle. Almost. That is in the wrong place. Now we do it. There we go. Ha ho! How about that? Now we need the window pieces. Which tile is this on? Is that the other tile? I don't think it's the right tile. Here we go. Right tile. R no, r take that back. Wrong tile. Hello. Aha! I think that's the right tile. Perfect. Window here. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh... Ah, uh, that was correct, but I moved away and I shouldn't have moved away. Darn it. <laughs> Oops. Wait, no, it wasn't correct. That was on the outside. Oh, but it looks okay, though. I think I'm going to leave it. Actually, where did I just build? Oh, <laughs> it's floating. Oops. Okay. Let's try this again. Um... Aha, there we go. Okay, just a few more. Just a few more. Those aren't in the right spot. <laughs> Get rid of those. <laughs> oh, this hurts. It hurts my heart. See, that's what I want, where it's, it's nowhere and then it appears. That means it's in the perfect alignment. Aha, uh there we go. Perfect. I want windows to be on an upper level as well, but I don't know if I want to make a whole third level to this. Or I could just go and swap some of these out with windows. Yo! Work with me! There we go. Okay, one more in the corner here. Let me see what I'm doing here. Wrong spot. Ho-ho! We got it! We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We have done it! Now let's put a... Just to break up this ma single style here. Let's replace those two with windows. If I can manage to get this in. Aha! Right there. Almost. Almost. Almost! No! Work with me. Work with me. Don't be like this game. Come on. What the heck? Guests are complaining about the length of queues. See if I care. Look at that. We have... Nah, okay, never mind. I thought we had more money. It's because I took it alone. But we have reached our objective. So we win. Whatever we do from this point on is entirely creative. Which is great because... I think this is out of alignment. Which is great because there's no, no pressure to crank out really overpowered builds and stuff. We can just have fun with this. Okay, grab this silly, silly window, which is proving to be far more difficult than it's worth. Is that even lined up? It is not. <laughs> what if I try from here? No. No. Arg! Work with me! Scenery in this game. This is why I don't do scenery, because it sucks. Ah, okay. That kind of works. I'm cool with that. Now this palace... Oh my gosh, multi-tiered. Okay, we're, we have to one-up that palace. Ours has to be better. That's one of that's one of my objectives as I build this. So, let's make it better. To do that, we're going to need roof pieces, which are right here. Wait, do I want to use these ones? Oh, there's variation in what they're doing. So there has to be variation in what we're doing. So let's switch these up. Haha, -ha. how about that? And, uh, same on this side. I'm procrastinating putting the roof over here because I don't want to. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard! Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We're here. Is that lined up? It is completely not. Okay. There we go. We know that's in the right place because we saw it in front of this one and behind this one. That means we know for certain... Yep, there we go. The, the, the perfect spot. Yep, right there. Unfortunately, not everything's a corner, so we can't use the corners everywhere to cheat this out, you know? We'll do our best. 
Uh, put that there. Put that there. Right there. Oh, this is this is actually working out. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Although I think I want something like this. Or should I have this one? Yeah, the style is less like this. We have them on the lower areas, but let's grab the golden top one. I would put it in the corner, but it's too close to this thing. So put one. Yo, work with me. Work with me. There we go. Delete this one. Put that there. Delete that one. Come back. Put that there. And this one. Put that there. Look at that. It's coming together beautifully. Now for these more detailed ones. Hey, yo. Let's work, 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 work with me. Wrong spot. Well, I guess that works too. Task failed successfully. <laughs> That's not where I wanted it. No, not right spot. No. Aha, right there. Yes, just like that. Now we'll close this gap. Almost, we're so close. I can taste it. We can call the silly palace project done. And then never build any more palaces, because this is a headache. <laughs> Unless you guys really want to see me do this. I mean, it is a little more relaxing than watching me build a roller coaster, I guess. It all depends on what you're here for. For the big roller coasters, or just the more creative side. But then roller coasters are creative too, so... Can't say that they're not creative. Different kind of creative, you could say. There we go. Just a few more. And then we might be able to cover up the, mi the middle gap with this. Almost. Oh, I can taste it. We're so close. This looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. It looks like we do have to fill in the rest of the roof, though. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll fill it all in. Grab this. Wrong spot again. Darn it. No. There we go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, we were on a roll there. I thought we were actually going to finish with no problems. No hiccups. No. Yes. Yes. Maybe. No. Ah. <laughs> Just a few more. Two more. Yes. Uh, no. 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 I need a different angle. I can't see what I'm doing. I still can't see. There we go. That one spot right there. So close. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! I just realized we don't have the higher tiered area. Oh yeah, we were gonna build up the middle a little bit. Let's uh <laughs> delete these. What is this? Four by four? All this hard work we did, good grief. What am I even doing at this point? You know, this will be easier if I just do these. Then I don't have to build it up. Boop, boop. With the silly walls. We just want a platform to work with. Perfection. Oh, this is so much easier. Maybe if I just did this for the whole thing, it all would have been faster. I don't know. But one thing's for certain, this is so much easier. Ha, huh, there we go. And now from there, let's grab these brighter colored walls like this. A plain marble wall. Not there. Hey yo, come back. Yes, like this. Let's put the, let's actually put the hole in the side. The little windows. Palace windows. No. 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 Almost, yes, right there. Now facing the other way, <laughs> not that way. Other side. And here I was saying that putting blocks there would make this easier. But no, these slide through the blocks, look at this. Like a knife, you're gonna stick it inside like that. That doesn't work. So I still have to kind of guess around where the mouse is located because I can't see. Ah, there we go, that's what I was trying to do. I can't see what I'm doing. 
One more facing this way. No, 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 no. No. Yes. Right there. Right there. Not what I meant to do, but that's where I wanted anyway. I was trying to do. Trying to. Do. Trying to do. Yo. Work with me. Oi. I was trying to do this, but on the other side. Come on. Almost there. So close, I can taste it. Ah, why won't it work? No. 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 Yes! Right there. Perfect. Now we fill in the rest with these. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. Dang it. Right there. Now, as we learned, control doesn't want to be helpful today, so I have to do every single one by hand. So close. Just let me... Yes, right there. No. No. Yes. Just like that. Ayo. Come on. Like that. So we have three tiers. No, one, two, three, four tiers. This palace is going to be more impressive than the one that came with the park. By a lot. Wow, this one looks so much cooler. I guess it was worth it. I mean, it's tedious and it's giving me a headache, but it was worth it. And I'm learning too. I'm learning as I do this, because this isn't my, what I typically do in this game. Y'all compliment my roller coaster building skills. Well, maybe some of you are better at scenery. This is my Achilles heel right here. Come on. Yes! No, I had it! I, oh, I let go of it. Not there. I was almost it. Yes? Yes! That's exactly where I want it. Two more freaking walls. Then we can put the roof on and put the silly dome on top. Well, it's not silly. It's, it's cool. But, uh, work with me! Arg. Grr. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I just have to yell at it enough until it works. There we go. Nah, it's not blind. Darn it. Yo. Be agreeable. Be reasonable. Maybe if I move the mouse over a little bit. No. No. It does everything except where I want it to. Ah, but good grief. Not there. I want it like that, but on the inside. Or maybe this one's in the wrong spot. Maybe if I just redo this one. The wall does look thicker than the ones with the holes in them. Yeah, like that. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we grab the roof. These again. Not like that. I can't see what I'm doing. Lie right there. Use the corners as a guide. Kind of as I said before. If I see it... Yep, yeah, wrong spot. If I see it in front... Yeah, see this? No, 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 come back. Oh, it was in the right place. Zooming messed it up. If you see it in front of this wall, but behind this wall, you know it's in the right place. Oh, good grief. This palace. How long have I been working on this palace? Long time, I think. Year two is already almost over. Yeah, don't be afraid to tell me in the comments if you don't like this kind of stuff. Like, well, please don't dislike the video that hurts the, how, how well it performs. But let me know. Definitely tell me if you don't enjoy this kind of content as much. Because I wanted to make the, my videos the best as they can be. And hearing uh, how you like this, it really helps. Then I know to avoid these kinds of construction projects in the future. Maybe you like scenery projects like this, but you like seeing the result after the fact, not the painstaking process of putting it together, which is very, very tedious, as you can see. That reminds me of another thing. Uh, my content, as it stands right now, is pretty one-dimensional. It's all just playthrough videos. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it's low effort necessarily. I, there's there's effort that goes into it, but it's just playthrough videos. Would you like to see other kinds of stuff? I've tried a tutorial in the past. It didn't really perform that well. I have those Minecraft videos, which I've discontinued because they weren't performing very well. It didn't really seem worth the effort. 
I mean, just one of those Minecraft videos takes about, maybe about 10 times, not exaggerating, as much work in the editing process and pre-designing the builds I'm going to do, just the whole process. Ah, oh, it's done. Look at this. Look at this marvel. It is so beautiful. Look at this thing. Wow, wow, wow. Although I think I'm going to move these. <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist. I, I can't call it done. That was silly me. Same with these roof pieces. But as, but as I was saying, I was actually thinking I might start a second channel for Minecraft if I ever decide to continue making Minecraft videos. But as it stands right now... Does this work? No. As it stands right now, my, my content is just these Roller Coaster Tycoon playthrough videos. And often when I try to experiment and try other kinds of content, it often just kind of falls flat. It might just be because YouTube is showing it to everyone who likes the long videos, and since they were looking for a long video, they just don't watch it. And YouTube just has to uh, try it out on more people before it really catches on. But I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm reluctant to produce videos that I know aren't really going to do that well. There we go. Much better. Look at this palace. Wow. And then the entrance is completely blocked off. I should have thought of that. <laughs> oh, well. What have we unlocked recently? Oh, we have a spiral slide. Or the... I had a word for it. I forgot what it was called. Oh, my flowers are dying. Oh, thunderstorm coming. Perfect. Helter Skelter. Skelter? Helter Skelter. I think that's what it's called. A Helter Skelter. What a kind of name is that anyway? So we have a Helter Skelter. Put that there. Now let's uh, get some more info kiosks placed strategically around the park to really capitalize on this rainstorm. Let's make these in screen. Boop. So that's one, two, three, I think. There's a third one there. Let me put a fourth one in this corner over here. Because not everyone's going to reach it to be able to buy it. Make these umbrellas purple. Uh, dark purple. And that's a beautiful thing. I was going to change the color of these, but I never got around to it, did I? Oh, look at that. We've earned enough money that we have, uh, we have less than what we started with. It's a lower loan. And all of these builds to show for it. Good gravy. We're doing so good. Despite my big distraction, it is October year two. We only have one more year and we are not going to be able to buy this palace. But that's okay, because I built a better palace myself. So we don't need to. Ho ho. Side friction coaster. There we go. Let's go free food or drink. Beef noodles. Get your free beef noodles, folks. Half price entry to the park. Let's just really try to maximize revenue at this point. Yeah, look at this. Really try to maximize revenue so I can start building more rides because there really isn't a whole lot in the park ride-wise. We have space rings. I'm reluctant to build those because they are vomit machines. We could replicate some of these flat rides though. It's okay to have more than one. I mean, even real life parks often have several of a single t uh, type of ride. Sometimes one is bigger than the others, like you'll have a small ferris wheel and then a big ferris wheel somewhere else in the park. I see that a lot, but it's fine. It really doesn't have to uh, only one of a kind. You really don't need to just have one of a kind of the uh, rides. Oh, merry-go-round! Nice! Let's put a merry-go-round over here. The soul of Roller Coaster Tycoon. And I say it's the soul, but I'm not going to play the music because I have the nice oriental music going. So, sorry folks. Let's kill that. Open! I have no key line. What am I doing? And then the circus is making all kinds of racket, too. Oh, well. So, merry-go-round. We're gonna have another cricket house, I suppose. Let's place it... right... here-ish? I don't know. Open. No need to test it. Okay, well, the, the rainstorm watered our flowers, which is good. Yeah, I've kind of really stepped out of my comfort zone this video. I'm kind of proud of myself. What do you guys, what do you guys think of this kind of change in the, from the usual? Do you want to see more stuff like this, or do you want me to stick with roller coasters? Just stick with roller coaster building because I'm just too slow when it comes to scenery. Let me know in the comments. Let's put some little, little tiny fences here, like so. This is cute. And maybe I should use this to cover up the back of those flowers. I don't know. 
Nope, did not mean to zoom in. Cap those off. I think we could do this. Yeah, I'll put fences along the back like this. Kind of cap everything off. Yeah, I think I like that. That's very nice. Whoops, what did I just do? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess I could do that. All these get more, so there's fences surrounding the lamps. That's cool. Okay. Here, 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 there, and there. Here, there, and everywhere. That reminds me, has anyone seen that recent meme that's been kind of circling around on social media? You know the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go? Well, in this meme, it's a dog reading it to its puppy. And go is used in the context of go and potty. So, oh, the places you'll go. You'll go on the fire hydrant. You'll go on the mailbox. You'll go on the bush. It's very silly. I'm bu obviously butchering it. That's not really what it said. It was like that. It said something like that. And I found it very funny. Should I mow my grass? Someone in the comments was letting me know that it bothers their OCD when I leave, let it overgrow like this. But on the other hand, it looks more textured. So I'm not sure if I want to mow it. Like, what I could do is if I grab this, make sure I select this, make this gigantic. Then if I just tap, did that just cost money? Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. It looks like I just wasted money. Some of the terrain must not be the same. So maybe I don't have that selected. Yeah, I'll leave it unselected, but then I just tap and it resets the growth of the grass back to stage one. Look at that. Beautiful little cheats like that. Okay. Now we're making lots of money this October since I restarted my ad campaigns. But not a lot of money as a whole. I mean, we've only, let's see, we've only earned... Where does it show how much we've collected from ride ticket or from entrance tickets total? Where can I find that? Oh, these stopped. I gotta restart him. Uh, loan. I don't like loans. Let's do the, uh, where is it? Log flume this time instead of the side friction coaster. Free, whatever you call that. I don't know what to call it. You know, we got an additional 250 guests in like just a month. So maybe, maybe we could double the objective if I really go crazy with the spamming of small rides. I'm not sure I want to, though. Oh, there's your thumbnail shot. <laughs> Look at that. Or maybe I should just do this. Just turn all the banners off. Look at that. Beautiful. Or maybe from here so I don't get the big black bar in the corner. But I'll have to put more rides behind it. That is something I think about when I make these videos, or something I'm supposed to think about. I often forget until it's too late. I'm supposed to, when I build my parks, I try to make it as photogenic as possible. But I also want to have a lot of features close together so I can get a good screenshot to put on the thumbnail. Let's see. What can I spam some more of? More Helter Skelters, I say. What a funny word. What's Helter Skelter such a funny name for a ride? Boop, boop. Now let's get rid of this redundant. Never mind, it's not redundant. I thought it was. Okay. Nice. That wasn't just a dead end before, was it? Hold on, see through vegetation. Huh, I thought I actually built another path. Maybe it was a dead end, I don't know. Maybe it was a dead end hiding behind the trees and I didn't realize it. That's funny. If it was, why is this closed? Oh, I didn't open it. Ha <laughs> I forgot. Max people, five. Let's make that switch to the other one too. Max people, five. Five people uh, on at a time. Let's accessorize this palace a little more. I put the entrance over here. So yeah, I was saying the entrance is covered, but no, the actual entrance is over here. And then once you get onto the third level, yeah, this is level one, level two, level three. Once you get to the third level, then you get into the main palace. So this is like the, I don't even know what you call that. The town area? No, I don't know, palace proper. Let's flank this with some big elephants. Now let's put a, some gates here, no entry, and put some, a nice fancy stone path going right up to that entrance. Isn't that a beautiful thing? 
Now we need some more, um... Hmm. That's a wall, I don't want that. Um... I'm not sure. Let's grab some small elephants, just because they're cute. They're so cute. There, there, and there, and there. What's in the way? Oh, path's in the way. Easy to fix. Put that there. And grab this path. Booyah! And uh, let's change the ground a little bit. Whoops. Actually, I really don't want to do that. That's expensive, and it doesn't look pretty. Okay, well, we'll leave it like this, I think. Doesn't that look good? Man, I can't believe I built this. Oh, what a painful process it was, too. Jeez. Anyway. Um, what have, what have we unlocked recently? Oh, these have all turned back on because, uh, because I finished all the gentle rides, it looks like. So let's just turn on roller coasters. Um... I really don't want to do water rides, so we'll leave that turned off. What are we working on again? Funnel cake. Cool. We also have drinks. I just remembered we don't have any balloon stalls anywhere in this park, so let's get some balloon stalls so we can get our nice customary balloon release at the end of the scenario. So that's light blue. Let's get some reds. Whoops, that is not red. Gray. Red. Whoops. Let's grab this one again. 150, same price throughout park. Ad campaigns just finished. Yeah, look at that. Our income's going back up. That's good to see. Okay. Let's make this a little bit longer. We'll turn a loan up so we can afford it, so I don't have to think about it anymore. That's what's really costing me, is having to remember to turn these back on and missing out on all the money I could have earned from these campaigns. So, side friction coaster, 12 weeks. Now, we are paying a little bit more in interest, but I think it's less than we would have lost... Uh, if I had forgotten to restart these. Half price entry to the park, why not? 12 weeks. All right, and with that done, back to the balloons. This is priced correctly, good to see. Let's grab yellow, so we got all the primary colors. Plunk this down right there. Make this yellow, price is correct, it's open, very good. Now we need the secondary colors. So let's place green balloons right here, a bright electric green. Then we need orange and purple as well. Let's place purple balloons right here. Uh, I said purple, what am I doing? <laughs> that is pink! I'm, I'm, sc I'm scatterbrained, what's going on? There we go. We do want pink though, as a variant of red. We want pink, just because it's different enough, it stands out a lot. Okay, this one will be orange. And one more, which will be pink right here at the foot of the roller coaster and that is a beautiful thing and then maybe halfway through the year if i remember to i'll turn the price all the way down to zero since they're all synchronized same price with the park all the prices will drop to zero just to ensure that a lot of guests uh, i gotta adjust my seat just to ensure that a lot of guests have balloons all righty then now we have the drinks let's play some of those strategically throughout the park right there 120, let's make this 180. Where's the other one? There it is. Drinks all over there. Let's get some ice cream for sale. Make these a buck 20, or maybe a buck 40. I don't know. Get a dollar of profit per sale. Now we still have a lot of cash since I took the loan out. Yeah, look at that. So the ad campaigns are doing their thing. We already have 9,000 for March, so March is our highest grossing month so far for entrance tickets, because other months might have actually beat it because of uh, the thunderstorm. Now this one was about 2,000 plus, just shy of 7,000, so maybe? Right ticket 60,000, so this one is about 10,000. Oh, nope, this one's going to be more. March is going to outperform uh, October, so that's good. So now we're finally generating a lot of revenue. And we can think about actually building some more big rides. And we have enough uh, wiggle room with our loan. I really could just build another roller coaster. So maybe I should do that. Let's just do that. We need something to show for all of our efforts in this park. Oh, look at all the lily pads out there. Are there any ducks? Have I been neglecting my responsibilities as a content creator to quack my ducks? I don't see any ducks. That's a shame. Or maybe it's because I don't own that land. Maybe they'll visit if I own the land. So let's build a... Let's make a pond before I make that roller coaster. 
Let's make a little pond right here. Uh, I'm out of money. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's take out a loan, as I said. Okay, then. This is so much more expensive than it is in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I wish it was cheap like in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I guess, I guess it's fair. It's more realistic. It, landscaping costs a lot of money. That's a lot of earth to move around. But hopefully we'll get some ducks now that'll come visit my pond. Now back to this. Let's build our flying roller coaster. It doesn't have to be gigantic. It just has to look nice. Let me get a quick idea of where my thumbnail will be. It's maybe right here. So we'll build it behind it. All right. Let's put the entrance right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing too complicated. I'm not going to block section it. Let's just keep it simple. Let's go with a plain entrance so I can see exactly what's going on. One more tile to get another train. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. Ah, that's not going to work. Um... Can I get away with this, or is the train too short? Too short? I was afraid of that. Okay, maybe I really need to think about where I'm putting this. Let's actually straddle the path, or go over the path like this. Okay, one train. Two trains, that's what I want to see. Perfect. Drop down a little bit, and then turn, and then lift hill. That is the edge of the park. I did not think this through. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, two trains. Yeah, we'll just go on a little bit of a tour. Just kind of go out this way. Yeah, that works. I wouldn't normally do that kind of thing, but it, it, it works. Let's see, large half loop. Oh, I have room, perfect. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. Now we started at 90 feet, so 85 is pushing it, so let's not do that. Then this is a tangled mess if I ever saw one. Inline twist. Let's make that go the other way so it looks like it's continuing from... Yeah, coming out of the roll from... Yeah, that, I like that. It has to... I, if it was the other way, watch what the train does. First of all, that track, that, that into the... What do you call it? That junction looks jarring. Not realistic at all. And frankly dangerous. But if we... Uh, watch what the train does when it reaches that spot. onto the helix. Very, very slow. Maybe I should just delete this whole section. But this is a good place to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it just, it, it turns. I just tried to demonstrate it with my hand. You can't, you can't see my hand. What am I doing? It starts turning and uh, turning it. It starts rolling. That's what I meant to say. It rolls one direction, but then it can't. It gets stopped and then goes the other way. Whoops. No, no, come back. No, flat. And then, there we go. Go right. Then, do I, can I fit a small half loop here? Oh, perfect. Look at that. I can fit it. Wonderful. Okay. Can I manage this? Let's have a bit of a jarring little, uh... It looks like it's going to throw you out of the train. You see a lot of modern roller coasters do that kind of thing. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. Maybe I should end this a little sooner. Something like that. That doesn't work. Okay, let's put a photo section at the bottom because we need some kind of a spacer here. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Half loop. 
And we should have enough momentum to kind of weave out of this. Oh, why doesn't this work? Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe if I do this. Uh, hello, palace. This could work if I buy the land. So let's just uh, take a loss here. Buy those tiles and those tiles only. I take it back. Buy those tiles. <laughs> I really don't want to buy those tiles. All right. Now we started at 10 feet, so let's return to the station. Oh, I can sneak under this. Perfect. This is looking very fun. Kind of messy, but very fun. The layout isn't too chaotic. It looks, it looks purposeful. And then right over the pond, let's put some brakes here. I forgot we had boosters with these. Not that I needed them. Oh, I love this music so much. Okay, maybe we didn't need those brakes there. Not yet. Let's get a wider turn. Now have brakes. So brakes to 13 miles per hour. I'm out of money. Come on, please get into my park. Give me money. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now a little quick preview. As I was saying, get that nice thumbnail. Maybe if I change the uh, zoom. Something like that. Yeah. And then this corner, I can have the roller coaster tycoon logo covering this dead spot. Perfect. I need to stop talking, uh, sharing those thoughts out loud. What am I saying? <laughs> Let's put the entrance here. Exit there. I just realized I'm going to mess up my elephants. Oh, no. Let me put it here. Or that's just a sacrifice I have to make. I don't know. Oh, no. Right here works. All right. Now, let's make sure the lift hill speed is really high. What should I color this? The blue is cool. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at blue. Let's grab train one and hit your ride. Not quite as cool as Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 lets you do. Although, I did notice that Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 was never really meant to be played at uh, 1080p or uh, a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So, Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, Complete Edition has been, I guess, modified by the developers to make it so it can be done like that. But if you notice, when you go to the ride POV, everything is stretched. Everything is wider than it's supposed to be. And I don't know how to fix it. I don't think, well, it's, it's baked into the game at this point. So maybe what I could do is in the editor, every time I open the ride POV as I grab the video and just stretch it myself, kind of recompress it to the correct aspect ratio, then you just have some black bars on the sides. But it's real. it's one thing as you're riding around the roller coaster that everything is stretched, but then if you roll, like if you go through a barrel roll or through inversions, then the stretch gets applied d differently. Like, I guess to make that make more sense, Let's say this dome is stretched, so it's wider than it's supposed to be. But once once the train, once you go through like a barrel roll like this, then the stretch changes orientation, so now it's too tall, but you're looking at it sideways. It's, it's super weird. It's hard to describe what I'm talking about. Oh, look at those stats. Look at that. Nice. All right. I need to stop yammering and start putting this, uh, this here entrance together. Okay, we have two trains, so we can get away with a bit longer of a queue line, I think. Okay, not that long. Alrighty. Perfection. We'll open this. I want to see no crashes, please. A gorgeous flying roller coaster. And let me play with the colors real quick. I'm not really sold on this. I mean, they're all shades of blue. Um, red supports? No. Why is that making me click it twice? Why is it not? Huh, that's weird. I did just update it. There might be a bug. Let's make it a bright green. You know, I keep reusing this color scheme, but it looks so cool, and it really pops. Orange and blue. Ah, oh, that color scheme is overused so much. Pink and blue is cool. I really don't do purple a whole lot on these big roller coasters, do I? So I could do something like that. And now I've just inverted the color scheme I was saying I overuse. 
maybe red and blue. Well, now we're going back to where we started. <laughs> I mean, these were different shades, but fair, fair, uh, same difference. No, not not a good color. Red is always a safe color to play with. Ah, whatever. Let's just pick a color and call it good. I need to stop overthinking it. Um, blue and purple. I guess that works. It looks good. And we can turn this down again. We still have five weeks left on our loan, so if I just wait it out, I should be able to pay the loan off altogether. And look, this area is all... There's so little going on over there. So much land that hasn't been used. What are we researching? Oh, we got a Heartland Twist Coaster. How useless. As Marcel says, the most useless roller coaster in the game. Bad stats, expensive, hard to design, just problems around the board. Let's build more Helter Skelters. You can't have too many Helter Skelters. If you're going to spam rides, might as well spam Helter Skelters. Small, compact, cheap. Probably not the most effective, but whatever. Boop. Five people on the ride at a time, please. How are these guys holding up? Oh, they're holding up pretty well. Look at that. Never mind, we need more. Maybe a few more of these guys, too. Let's name this Helter Skelter. I mean, who even came up with that name? Helter Skelter. I don't even know if I spelled it right. <laughs> I don't know why I did the funny text either. It's just a funny name. It's just a funny word. It's funny to say. Helter Skelter. Say that five times fast. Helter Skelter, Helter Skelter. Okay, that's not hard. Let's get another one of these plunked down right there. I just realized this is the wrong style. Pagoda, please. Same with you. Okay, entrance and exit. Boop. Just to be different, we'll have a different color queue line. Now over here, this one, where to go? I just built something. Ah, oh, this is wrong too. Let's go Pagoda. Maybe if I make the roller coaster a dragon, then that can help me with coming up with colors. So, Flight of the Great Worm. Although, does worm typically refer to, like, European-style dragons? I don't know. We're doing a cultural overlap. What if I alternate the colors? So, color scheme two with a white track and blue supports. Oh, darn it. Come back. Color scheme. Main color scheme. So if I alternate these, like so... Uh, what just happened? Oh, wrong. Wrong piece. <laughs> color scheme one. I mean, I guess it's cool, but it's very tedious. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Fixed it. This is a tedious episode. I keep trying to do things that just take a lot of time for really no reason other than to see if I can. Maybe I really shouldn't be... No, darn it. Shouldn't be doing this. Oops. Main color scheme for this. No, I think this is a helix, so that's all one color. I can't mess with that. Back to color scheme one. Where'd we leave off? I can't see. Oh, there it is. There it isn't. Okay, no mistakes. So far. Yeah, let's just like that. Look at me go. And if we don't like it, we can just change color alternative scheme one to match the... Uh, match the other colors. That is the wrong tile. Make that purple. Wait, 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 come back. Make it earth. Make it purple. There we go. No! I keep messing up. Here we go. Back on track. We're making lots of money, too. We can almost turn our loan off all the way.
Now, isn't this, aside from that mistake, isn't this a thing of beauty? Okay, let's fix my mistake. Boop. So now we have alternating colors. Now I can play around with what the colors are. So if, may, if alternative one is yellow, that's jarring to look at, but I almost like it. That is really interesting. I think I might leave it like that, actually. I didn't expect my first variation to actually look so good. <laughs> I mean, you, that's all subjective. You might think it's horrible and ugly, but hey, you clicked the video, you're here, so ha, ha, ha. I'm just kidding, I love you guys. I like to poke fun. Let's see, another roller coaster, what else? Oh, that's because I still have a toggle. Okay, so there's only a few more things we can unlock. Uh, we're at the end of year, th we're halfway through year three, so let's turn this to maximum funding just so I unlock all my options as fast as possible. Loan is almost paid off. There are no more thrill rides and no more gentle rides to build. As I said, I don't have the monorail cycles or the space rings. I really don't want to do the space rings because this park is so big geographically and I really don't want to hire more staff. And I, I know that if I, if I, um, what am I saying? If I build space rings, there's going to be so much vomit everywhere in the park that I'll just have to, uh, hire more staff to keep up with the, with the problem. Oh, this is backwards. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's been left. Now here's a ride that, uh, a ride that, uh, lost my train of thought. Here is a ride that can't go up or down. Now we're gonna mirror this, I think. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, that's not gonna work. Unless I do this. Aha, here we go. Now I have room. Okay, so this is just like a way to explore the scenery. I think in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, the vanilla version, this is categorized as a transport ride. I could be wrong, it's been a while since I checked, but I'm pretty sure that it was recategorized as a gentle ride because it's not much of a transport ride, is it? Let's see, how many of these do I get? What kind of color is that? Is there a third color? Just these two. I think it's just these two. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it. I feel like these are upside down. Are they upside down? Oh, nope, they're not. But then why... Why are the wheels on the top? Are these wheels? Or is it like a gearbox system? Not a gearbox system, like a, a transmission. I don't know what you call that. I'm going to stop talking because I'm embarrassing myself with my lack of terminology. Let's uh, decorate this this thing, make it worth people's while to ride. I don't think these are going to fit. I could delete these, though. Ho-ho, look at that. How tall can I make these? Oh, those are pathetic. Let's get a big one. Does this have a definitive front? It doesn't appear to. Okay. So a big pagoda right there. And then Shiva. We'll put a Shiva right there. Get some trees. Some cherry blossoms that are yellow. Snowball tree. I don't even know what that is. It's kind of cool. What other trees do I get? Let's get some bamboo going. But I feel like bamboo typically kind of all, all goes together, so let's maybe just have a big swath of bamboo. Here I am decorating this area, and I'm not even going to take my screenshot here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take my screenshot over here, where it's pretty. But anyway, so that's another ride that'll raise the soft guest cap a little. Just one or two more guests. Two more guests. Boom! Loan paid off. And we are going to double the objective. Look at that. I was doubtful, but we're doing it. Just five more guests and we got it. Okay, six more guests. <laughs> Just a few more guests and we will have doubled the objective for this park. We didn't buy the palace, but as I said, I built a better one. We don't need to buy this silly palace. Let me see. Let's have another crooked house. There's really not a lot of room here, is there? Put the entrance there. Exit there. Boop. And we'll open this. That'll raise the soft guest cap so we get those guests so we can win. Oh, that's why. These all expired. So let's take a loan out so I can restart them. It is June, so we have the June, yeah, it was the end of June. So we have July, August, September, October. So four months left to win. 
So, 12 weeks? Yeah, that, that, that's enough. Okay, perfect. Let's advertise our magnificent dragon. Flight, or the uh, flight of the great worm. It's kind of a mouthful of a name. I might go rename that. Free food? Let's do free ice cream. Half price entry to the park. Yes, sirree. We're doing it. All right. Let's just call this a great worm. We don't, we don't need flight in it. It's a flying roller coaster. It's implied. Boom. All right. And that there is a beautiful thing. Now, we only need... We only need $8,000 more dollars to pay off our loan the rest of the way. Okay. Oh, it died. <laughs> so much for our music. Our nice, pretty music. Let's get some more trees around here. Kind of flesh this area out. Or maybe some more bamboo. Let's have a bamboo forest out here. In Minecraft, if you select lolcat as your language, uh, sugarcane gets renamed to bamboo, which is pretty funny. Okay, some more of that stuff. A dead tree. Authors Chris Sawyer, Simon Foster. So these are the OG stuff, not the new stuff from Frontier Studios. That's why the style is so different, because Frontier did it. And then we have this goofy dragon puppet, and then we don't have it in our scenery. Oh, wait, no, I take it back. We totally do. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that is sick. Where can I put that? Where can I put that? I want to build this right now. Oh, I don't want supports on it. No. Can I make it float over the roller coaster somewhere without supports? Oh man. Maybe if I delete some of these trees, I can fit it down here, maybe? Somehow, somewhere, some way, I will build it. Where, though? Can I put it on top of this? No. No, 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 come back. Oh man. Oh well. Maybe right here. Never mind, that's too low. Just an ex just little. Just as an experiment, let me plop this down over here. Looks like I can't place it with the trees in the way, so we'll delete the trees. Let's rotate it, actually. There we go. Chinese dragon. That is so cool looking. What the heck? Golden Buddha. Oh, it's this again. We already have one of those. Um, Chinese dragon. Turn a loan down some more, and we have doubled the objective, as we can see. Where can I build this where it's not in the way of stuff? Er, I want to put it there. But it's not going to work. Right there works, I suppose. Is it visible from over here, though? Eh, not really. I want to place another one, but I don't see anywhere we have room to place another one, unless I ruin my forest. So let's delete a small 4x4 area here. Okay, bring this back. Oh, I had it right the first time. Whoops. There we go. Got a nice little dragon there. Let's replant some of this bamboo that we chopped down. And then this pond needs some plants. So let's get some cattails around the edges here. Because it's not a lake, it's a pond. Standing water, probably lots of mosquitoes, kind of gross. But the ducks like it. Lots of options for fish. Little minnows and, and uh, bait fish and shiners. I don't know what they're called. Lots of little fishies. I'm pretty sure we have lily pads too. Where are they? Where are the lily pads? Where are they in here and I just missed them? Aha, right there. That's cute. We got some lily pads. Let's get a toxic bush. This is floating in the water. Oh, look at that. It floats in the water. Nice. Now, hopefully, we'll get some ducks before the scenario ends. I really want to quack a duck. Oh, well. Let's see. Total of... Wow, this cash machine has serviced a lot of people. Jeez. Just five more thousand and we can pay everything off. We double the objective. Pay off our loan. Have a fantastic park to show for. Look at this place. I mean, this was really tedious, but I'm really proud of it. I want to showcase it right smack in the middle. Anyway, what are we researching? A hat stall, that's fun. 
We do have some souvenirs that I've just kind of neglected, so let's play some of these down. Cuddly toys can be four dollars, I think. Maybe even four fifty. See thoughts. I'm not paying that much for a cuddly toy. Okay, that's too much. Let's try three fifty. I'm pretty sure I sold them for four fifty in one scenario, and people were fine with it. This cuddly toy is really good value. That must have been when it when I just opened it. Good value. That's Uri M. Anybody else? Several people walking up to it and walking away. I'm not paying that much for an umbrella. Fair enough. You will when it rains, though. <laughs> okay. So that appears to be a fair price. I don't want to sit there too long. Oh, we have the funnel cakes. I forgot. Let's sell funnel cakes. And, uh... Not too expensive. Oh, and I just realized it's also June, so let's grab the umbrellas. Not the umbrellas, the balloons. What am I saying? Balloons and make them free. Free for everybody. Heck yeah. So everyone can get balloons for free. And, uh... We'll have a magnificent balloon release at the end of the scenario. Let's place this right by that exit there. We need benches here as well, so people can sit down so we get less of a vomit problem. Whoops, that was a garbage can. Okay. How have the stats changed with all the scenery? Not much. I wonder if I could get it to eight with more stuff. Well, I think the scenery is already capped out, so maybe if I put paths over the track somewhere, we could. But I don't, I don't want to ruin the aesthetic, so I guess we'll leave it. It doesn't matter. More rides. There we go. Hat stall. I didn't, re I didn't see when we unlocked it. Let's put it right there. Um, we can charge definitely more than a buck fifty for these. What color do I want these? I red is fine, I guess. It stands out. Especially against the red, the green of the grass. Man, I'm so excited about this thing. Look at this palace. It's so pretty. I think I should cover the rest of these flat tiles, shouldn't I? Well, no. It's not a roof. It's a walkway, so we'll leave it. This is a roof, but that's not a roof. What are we working on? Another shopper stall? Okay, let's turn that off. We don't need any more of those. Quit it. Well, I, I want to leave water rides on just in case we unlock a, um, what do you call it? Just in case we unlock the, uh, the big, the, the splash boats. That's what it is. But we could build some river rapids, I think. Let's build it right up front and center here since this whole area is not really being used. So there and there, entrance and exit. Let's build these first just so I can maneuver around them as, as I need to. I forgot there's a ride under this. <laughs> there's totally a ride under it. I never stopped it testing. Hold on. Hold on. It's still testing. What am I doing? <laughs> well, now it's open. I just thought it was closed and, oh, it must have broken down. <laughs> nope. I just completely forgot about it. Let's leave this flat, actually. Let's let this meander around a little bit. Let's, uh, straight the calm before the storm. Can I get over this if I do this? Nope, we need more space. Let's go up first, actually. And then go up. And now it'll be dripping on all the people below, but let's keep going up. Let's get a nice big drop out of this. Uh, too tall. Okay, big drop. And I just realized we don't have anywhere to turn around, so flatten out at 10 feet. Let's put some... Uh, uh, rapids here. Then uh, go straight to the edge of the park. Waterfalls. Whoops. Turn. Waterfalls. Actually, might, might be prettier if I just go straight here. Let's put a whirlpool here. Why not? Now we have waterfalls. Pause. Waterfalls. So they can be longer. More waterfalls. Whoops too long. Then some final waterfalls here. And now we can't connect to the track, can we? Or to the station. Unless I get fancy with my maneuvers here. <laughs> it's not going to work. What am I doing? What am I doing? OK, 
Okay, well, let's bring this back just one tile. I think that's all we need. Whoops. And now the waterfalls are all consistent instead of all being mismatched. Whoops, never mind. They're still inconsistent. <laughs> Unless I delete this one. Let's delete that one. Put a... Oh, we have a photo section. I didn't realize. Put uh, rapids there. Let's put the photo section here. So we get money from that. Boom. Now waterfalls. Now we should have room to maneuver, kind of, sort of, maybe. Hopefully. Never mind, that doesn't work. Yes! We can do it. Observation tower still hasn't been fixed. These guys... Okay, they're probably just stuck walking. It's too far away. I need to buy a new chair. I got this new... This, this, uh... This gaming chair, thinking it would help me, uh... Well, be more comfortable when I sit here for multiple hour recording sessions, but my tailbone really hurts. So maybe I need to invest in a new chair. Grr. This was this chair wasn't cheap. I guess I could offer it up in Facebook Marketplace or something. Let's see. How many boats? Oh, we get green boats. That's unusual. I like that. Switch this to six seconds. August 21st. These are still rolling for seven more weeks. And the loan is paid off. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Let me leave this dialogue box open so I don't forget about it like I forgot about the, the car ride in the palace. Hot chocolate stall. So that comes up in... Oh, we just got it. Let's grab the hot chocolate. That's fine. Sell it right there. Buck 60 for the hot chocolate, folks. Do we have any other food options? Let's have another chicken stall. Way out here in the out the outskirts. Okay. Oh, we have a thun. Never mind. For some reason, my eyes just totally played a trick on me. I thought this is a thunderstorm thunderstorm icon. I was gonna say yay thunderstorm, but that's not a thunderstorm. What am I saying? So we have all these except for the bumper boats, and I can't build the bumper boats unless I try to cram them into this pond, make a bigger pond or buy land out here, but I don't want to do any of those options, so we're not going to do it. Bumper boats kind of suck anyway. Or what it could do is just carve a channel out of the ground. Great Worm has broken down. What a shame. Let's build another one of these. Why not? 2,300 guests. We still have September and October. Imagine if we got 700 guests in just a couple months. Probably not going to happen, but that'd be fun. Whoops. Let's make this uh, maybe a little shorter than his neighbor. So 130. Okay, 38. Let's try 47. What does that do? Let's try 51. Whee! 54 is probably the sweet spot for this kind of setup. Yep. Perfect. All right. Now this color is blending in with the ground, so let's make a white with a red core. Very nice. We'll open that. That'll raise the soft guest cap even more, so we get more people into the park. Man, I can't stop looking at this palace. Yo! Maybe I'm over-appreciating it because of the pain of building it. I don't know, but I like it. It's cool. Let's actually embellish it a little bit more. Although, if it doesn't look good, I'll delete it. It depends on how, how this looks. I'll put more of these, like there and there. What do you think? Does that work? Oh no, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. Never mind. Because of the well, there's a lip thing that overhangs, but it it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't look right. Yeah, uh, doesn't look right. Unless I put it here. Nah, I don't want to do that. That screws with the whole setup. I want to put flags on it, but these are all the wrong languages. This is Japanese. This looks more Indian. Because all the Asia theming is lumped together. Aha! Indian silk flags! What orientations do I get with these? Oh, let's get the really colorful one. One there. Are these corner quarter tiles? Yeah, they're quarter tiles. Okay. I think. I can't even tell if I put those in the right place. Let's delete this one.
Yeah, so it looks right from this angle. From this angle, it's, yeah, it's totally wrong. But this is the angle I want. This is the, the, the best way to look at it. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. So sick. Already. Now, what are we working on now? We have the... Oh, we're working on a water ride. We get it on the 21st of September. Basically, when we have no time left to build it. <laughs> There's a lot of trash in the park, sounds like. So let's hire some more staff, because we have a lot of money. So we can get away with that. With income like this. Hello. 10,000. So between eight to 10,000 a month, roughly. Except September is already... We're already a third of the way through it. We only have 2,800. Oh, no, that checks out with July and June. Anyway, uh, we have trash. But we have trash cans everywhere. What's the deal? Do we have vandals? Let's look at actions. Oh, yeah, we got a vandal. Not good. Where is he? Vandal. Please don't destroy my stuff. This is a little bit smoother. Where are you, Mr. Vandal? I can't even tell what I'm looking at. Or maybe he's not walking anymore. Oh, we, we lost him. Where'd he go? He might be in line for something. Aha. Leaving the park. No, I missed it. Come back. Leaving the park. Heading for launch freefall. Oh, we have multiple. Ah, it keeps jumping around. Gotcha. Let's turn scenery or vegetation off. I want to see if you break anything. Let's watch. Oh, stop in the check directions. Okay, now it's queuing for a ride, so no risk to breaking anything there, hopefully. But there has to be a lot of vomit. Wait, uh, there has to be a lot of vomit somewhere for him to be raging like that. Because they don't they don't rage over litter. They only do that over vomit. So let's check. Maybe a faster way to check would be to do the wrong tab. Grab this. Thoughts. Uh, this path is disgusting is what I'm looking for. I don't see it. Maybe... I see a lot of clean and tidy. Maybe hiring those those handymen fixed it fast. Jeez. Yeah, this really isn't here unless I'm just missing it. And we're lagging. Why are we lagging? Okay, here we go. Too crowded here. You hear something funny is Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 has the sense to have an autosave, but Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 doesn't. So when Fright Night crashed, that was it. That was the end of the video. I had to stop because it uh, was that or start over, and I didn't want to start over. I mean, it was a good recording, all things considered. It's just the ending was kind of weird. Ooh, a junior roller coaster. Let's cram a junior roller coaster into this little space over here. Maybe leap over the path and explore the pond. Should I put it over here? Nah, let's put it over here. All right, junior roller coaster, just slightly off the ground. One train. Let's just do two small trains. Okay, big lift hill. So from 50 feet to 40, that should work just fine. This isn't working because it's the same height. Okay, maybe if I go down first. Uh, da -da -da. let's go this way. Just a little bit of a detour. That doesn't work. It doesn't. This does, but that might be a lot of lateral G's. I mean, it's just a junior roller coaster, but even a junior roller coaster has issues sometimes. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Let's not do that. We can get away with this, though. That doesn't work. And I'm out of room, so I can't do this. Well, shoot. Let's come out of this one step sooner. And now the we're going to hit the chicken. <laughs> we're going to hit the chicken. That's not good. Not the chicken. Okay. Let's do this over the path instead. And uh, flatten out. 
Helix. That doesn't work. Uh, what, how am I gonna do this? That music is so pretty. Or maybe don't Helix, just turn. Let's just do the simple thing here. Let's pop on down like so. Go under that part of the track. And that's the edge of the park. Okay. Let's Helix up. We'll drop a little bit. Or no, we don't have to drop. Let's stay at 10 feet. And uh, put some brakes here to 13, then drop, then turn and return to the station. I overshot it. Return to the station. We can even fit another tile, another station tile on there. Wonderful. Okay, a nicely designed uh, junior roller coaster. Let's put the path in place and the entrance. Boom. Now we got log trains, that's all we get. So this black and blue color, I don't like bruises. So let's make this pink, since we chose to not make this one pink. Let's go pink and blue, this is blue. Let's go pink and green. Oh, there you go, very nice. Lift hill speed, make sure that's maxed out. And um, nine cars, two trains with nine cars, perfect. Follow this in main view. It is October of year three, so the park is about to wrap up. Now we have one week remaining on these, which is fair. We'll have to restart those for just a few more weeks right at the very end. Whee! Just to see if we can really get as much, get as much out of this park as we can. Woohoo! There it goes, ad campaigns just wrapped up. So let's open this. Whoops, let me go. As it goes into the station, we'll get the results back. Very nice. It's about to rain. So we're going to make some money from umbrella sales, too. Okay, so two weeks remaining. That's uh, 14 days. October 10th, let's go three weeks, so 21 days. Let's advertise the new Junior Roller Coaster, even though it's a little. Vouchers for free food. Let's do free fried chicken. And half price entry to the park. Boom. All right, now with that, this park is done. All that's left to do is just more decorating. So let's put some more vegetation and such. I wonder if I can decorate this area kind of like how I did over here. Oh, and all of our flowers are getting watered finally. That's good. So let's do something similar. Let me grab my flowers, grab the pink ones, put them right up front and center. Like this. And then some bushes behind it. A different bush just for variation. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, that's good. Let's grab another style of lantern. Well, I feel like these have to be up to the path, so let's grab this one again. Something is in the way. What is that, a tree? There's a tree in the way. Out of the way, tree. Okay, still in the way. I deleted the wrong tree. <laughs> Whoops. Now for bigger, thicker flower beds, let's go with the really vibrant one. This one with two colors. And then last but not least, our little fences, which for some reason aren't categorized in here. They're indexed separately. Put those on there like this. Okay, and then these up front. I can't even see if I'm doing it right because the palace is in the way. Okay, so that's done. Now let's get the really big lantern for this junction right here. Tall lantern, so cool. Oh man, I'm loving this so much. And look at this park. Look at this park. It came out so good. I just realized this is still testing. What am I doing? Open that. River rafts? Aw, oh, man. Actually, this is another ride that's categorized as a uh, as a transport ride in the vanilla game. 
but not an open RCT2. In open RCT2, they separated it for some reason. I wonder if we could fit one here. Although the turns are too wide, so no, we can't. Never mind. It would be cool, though, if we could. I have all of the roller coasters except the trashy, useless one. We have seven days left, so let's see if I can manage to fit one here. Um, one, two, three, four. How do you even make this? Whoops. Upper transfer. Okay, so we have this pointless drop here. <laughs> and now how do I even bring it back to the station? Oh, let's do a lower transfer. Lower transfer. Oh, what was I thinking? I don't have, I don't have room for this. Let's just bring it all the way down. <laughs> what am I doing? Lower transfer. And that's it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how these work. Uh, I don't even have time anyway. The scenario is over, so let's just... Uh, we'll just test this and see what happens. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Now we have all the roller coasters, I can say. Four cars, Bengal Tigers? What the heck? Okay, that's cursed. <laughs> and I forgot to change the lift hill speed. So if we want to get our test results faster, let's start over. Start this testing process over. Now this has to test in two days, because that's how long it takes for this scenario to end. We have to or check that one day left. I don't know if we're going to do it. Okay, at the top of the lift hill, then it gets transferred. And down it goes, way too fast. And then gets caught, and yeah, look at that, it actually worked. <laughs> okay then, I guess we're opening it. Horrible stats. We must have had a stat penalty, but yeah, look at that. We did it. We have beat Park Maharaja. However you say that, I don't even know if I said that right. Let's open that for good measure. And yeah, look at this beautiful park, and holy smoke, that's a lot of balloons. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for when the next video comes out. And I will see you next time. So, so long, folks.